guys, what's good? It's I'm Michael with Michael here, and I am with three very strange quizzes. Well, not strange, but they're awesome. Because the first one is manliness, and you all know that I'm very manly. And well, my clothes are short, but let's get changed. Let's know that I'm changed. I look more manly than ever. Now we can get a hundred on this quiz, since we're changed, and we look amazing with this kid. Now, let's go to this quiz, and I'll see you guys there. Now I think it's time to do this quiz in the manliest style I can. So the first question, let's kick this off with a banger. Have you ever been hunting? Of course. I've been killing animals since I was five. And I drink their blood out of their dead bodies. <sighs> what do you think about the great outdoors? Oh, I like the nature channel. No. It's cool, but after after a while, I start missing my Xbox. No, I never see the great outdoors because once I'm outside, the outdoors becomes excellent. Oh, have you ever punched a mime? I hate motherfudging mimes. I hate them so much that I want to punch him in the face as much as I can. Oh. Actually, no. Let's change our answer. No, the mime punched himself after giving him a mean look. Oh, my beard is so luscious. It's, it's making... Oh. And let's let's move on from this. We'll we'll get hundred on it. And yes, it'll be great. Complete the sentence. My handshakes makes men cry and women quiver. I kill all the men with one handshake. I just have to put my hand out and they die. Ooh, the manly test is geared towards well guys. So, fellas, how seriously are you taking this test? I'm a guy, and the manly test is all knowing and all important. Respect the quiz, respect the test. Get a hundred, and you'll be the best. Ugh, how hard do you have to try to get a female's attention? I just have to look at them, and they come to stroke my beard. Ooh. The breathing is more difficult for me than attracting women. I have a hard time getting laid, not hard. I get a lot of attention. Breathing is more difficult than the attractive one. Oh. I can't breathe, I can't really breathe through my beard anyways. Do you enjoy taking chances? Experiencing the unknown is the best feeling there is. I don't like to take you any. Yes, no risk, no reward. I love to take chances. Once, I jumped off a bridge to fight a bear, and I won. Oh, man, that was amazing. Some insults, someone insults your lady. What do you do? Well, in my case, I would take a mallet and pound their face in. Uh, I would throw the offender through the nearest plate glass window, go confront the guy and make sure he, he backs down, try to talk out with the guy, maybe he didn't need it. I would throw him off the nearest plate glass window. Of course, what's your drink of choice? Ah, uh, uh, I don't know, man. Ah, uh, man, this is hard. They're probably gin and tonic. Perfect. Uh, I love a drink every day. What do you think other men think of you? I'm a confident guy and I treat you as men. Other men want to be me. Other men want to be me. They want my beard. And they want my hat. And they want my sword. And they want my cape. And they want to be me, so they can be cool as me and be as manly as I am. You eat meat, right? Yes. Naturally, in fact, all I eat is red meat, of course. When you sneeze... When you, when you sneeze, I... I don't know, man. This is a hard question. God actually blesses me when you wipe your nose with your sleeve. Since we have more than an answer, I'm waiting for those in my sleep. <sighs> Your 
channel surfing technique involves flipping back and forth between Bravo and Lifetime, catching some ESPN during the commercials, literally surfing the English channel. That's what I do. Of course, man. Real men are wiser than most wisdom sometimes. When were you born? I was born in the year of 1916. I'm about a hundred years old. And I am the oldest man. Because that's my regular room. <coughs> it's hard to talk in this voice. I mean, this is my normal voice. It's worth talking every day. Would you go back to school to get smarter? No, I'm plenty of smart already. I'm the smartiest in the world. What'd I get? Did I get a hundred? Oh! Said I don't want a car. No! No! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go. I want to talk a little bit about that because I, I think care. this season, what we have seen is Regina really <sighs> trying, and over the What's years, something? really trying to make the best choices. Not only I don't care about you, these stupid things. I want to know how I did. Come on! Five, four, three, two, one. How'd I do? Did I know I am the most awesome man ever? Yes, I did it! To the next quiz. Hey guys, we're back with the next quiz. And as you can tell, uh, we're doing a uh, Pokemon. And uh, I'm in my uh, my uh, clothes for this. This is what I gotta go to every single uh, uh, Pokemon meeting where uh, we'll trade uh, Pokemon cards. So uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do this quiz. And I don't know about you, but. I'm pretty great at Pokemon, so let's let's do this. The latest Pokemon I have a flame on its tail, and the gold owl won't survive. It's an orange and an old little Pokemon. It's a fire type. Who's that Pokemon? And well, I instantly think it's a a a Monferno, cause it has a Ferno in its name. Which, uh, that also means, uh, fire in, uh, Pokemon language. So, uh, yeah, next question. This is, uh, this is Pokemon. It, it's a dark and ice type. It is red, black, and is second final stage of evolution. Its long, sharp claws and seals will be Lucario and the master of the Mew. Who is this Pokemon? Well, this is, uh, clearly, uh, Sneasel. Cause, uh, Sneasel was in that movie, and I've watched that movie at least, uh, about, uh, what, uh, 50 times, so, yeah, yeah. And, and this Pokemon is around a cat. It's being a Pokemon. It's a uh, Pokemon in the Pokemon world. Is this stage a part of the evolution? Who is this Pokemon? Uh, well, it's easily, uh, no, it's not Kyogre, because Kyogre is a, uh, a, uh, a, 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 a god type, and, uh, I think it's uh, a Diagla, cause Diagla is uh, uh, it's final stage, and well, uh, yeah, Diagla is uh, yeah, a great Pokemon. Fires uh, big balls, and yeah, this is Ash's first Pokemon. It was used to stay on his shoulder. It's an electric type. You know, it's an electric mouse Pokemon. Who is the Pokemon? Well, when well, all of you say it uh, would be uh, Pichu, but uh, Pichu was actually uh, not its name. And it actually was, um, uh, uh, Rattata. Rattata was a small first Pokemon. Cause Rattata is a small cat type Pokemon. Alright, alright, alright. Um, uh, this one is, uh, is a, uh, water type. And, uh, oh, oh, it, uh, is first stage of evolution. And it comes from the Sifra version. 
resembles a tiny penguin. Who is this Pokemon? Well, that, that's clearly it's Boozle. Because Boozle is a penguin. And it also includes a ice cheese. Alright, next question. This Pokemon controls, uh, uh, controls time. It's an enemy. It has an enemy and it should never meet. It was a couple of Pokemon movies, but it was first seen in the Rise of Dark Mind. It's a legendary Pokemon. Well, I don't know about you, but it's, uh, I think it's a uh, Panicare. Panicare sounds a really cool name. Just kidding, I know everything about Pokemon, and I've seen uh, this this movie about uh, uh, when I seen this all. Oh, it was our, at our uh, second Pokemon meeting. And well, yeah, it was it was pretty sick. We saw it like three times, in the course of uh, three hours. So yeah, yeah, pretty good, pretty good movie. This Pokemon is found in the John Hall region. It's back in the first in its first stage of evolution. It's a dark flag type, and it's burned. Who is that Pokemon? Um, um, well, it's uh, it's clearly Punch's Crow, cause that. Is a uh, black pug, and yeah, it's uh, actually no, it's actually Murkrow because Murkrow, it, or maybe it's Hunch. I no, no, we learned this in our uh, first one where we were talking about the stages of different Pokemon where they live, and it was definitely Murkrow. Uh, this Pokemon is a ghost and electric type. If you had played the games Diamond, oh, I've played those and beat those three times. You can find this Pokemon in the old mansion at the night hiding in the, in the TV screen. It can change its form and define different things. Who's that Pokemon? Well, oh, I know what it is. It's an Electro Buzz, because it, uh, when it was in the window, it mentioned its name of the pack. In the uh, top left corner of the video game, when you play on the uh, old DS. So yeah, that's what it is. Oh, two more questions, and we're about to, we're about to ace, ace this test. This Pokemon is a graph, grass and type. It's a starter. Uh, it's a starter Pokemon in the uh, Kanto region. Uh, who's that Pokemon? Oh, then that's easy. It's uh, Chikorita, because Chikorita was the uh, starter in the. Uh, uh, second gen uh, evolution, and um, that's when uh, uh, Jerome uh, got him when he was uh, fighting with uh, uh, the police. And yeah, okay. So last question: This Pokemon is electric and flying type. It's it's a it is a legendary, and one of these keys is to awaken Lugia. See in the movie Pokemon to the Aw, oh, man, that's a classic. That's a classic right there. I've only seen it once, but I've memorized the whole entire thing. And that is clearly Zapdos. Zapdos was it? Yep, I, I'm sure of this. We gotta hunt. What? What? Oh, we got. Uh... Alright. We got a 20%. What? No, no, this is not true. I, I, hold on, I need to play, I need to play. I need to turn this on. There we go. Hold on, no, no, this is not right. This is not right. I'm looking this up. I'm going into the Pokemon book. And, how, oh, how, how do I get this wrong? I've played this game. I've done this. I, I don't know. No! You know what, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a little bit of Pokemon while I'm trying to calm down. Alright, let's, um, oh, there's a Charizard, right, my favorite Pokemon, let's, let's capture. Alright, I got him, I got him, alright, alright, ready, ready, we're about to catch No, I'm, I'm done with this. We didn't, we didn't catch him, you know what, Pokemon, I hate you. <sighs> stupid Pikachu, everyone is so stupid in this game. <laughs> <laughs> this is for you, stupid Pokemon. So guys, we're back with the uh, last quiz. And uh, yeah, uh, this is the strange, uh, strangest quiz. And I honestly...
honestly, I don't even know anymore. What is my channel? Oh uh, yeah, let's do the weirdest quiz. And this will be my last quiz out of the three. And well, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, get out with it, you stupid quack. Shut up, big bird. All right. First question. You have an egg. What do you make? I can't make anything. Honey, egg rolls. Your dog died. I ate a cow before. The expected was unexpected expected would it be expected as unexpectedly expected unexpected my brain hurts how do you put a giraffe in a freezer ah uh, tell the dog come back to life again so you can be shorter than stuff I'm in which of these choices best describes you I need to go to school and buy and and get my degree make a lot of money working from home I would love to find a new game to play I like to earn extra money but taking surveys online uh, that one. How do I put a hippo in a freezer? Um, my feet smell funny. Yep, they do. You come across a river. You need to get across, but there's allegories in it. What do you do? Ah, uh, you take the hippo out of the freezer, put the giraffe back in, and sit on the hippo's back to swim across. The animals are having a party. What are the- what are they- all the animals there? I want candy. How do I get him? How do I- you get him into the party? Ah, uh, party? I wasn't invited. You have to swim and then get eaten by a crocodile. You have to you have to go across the river again. Onto a day hippo. Take the giraffe out of the freezer. Set the giraffe over the hippo. Send the giraffe back and swim across again. Asking hippo for a your party. Um... I wasn't really invited to the party. Cheesy muffin rolls! There we go. I honestly hate these ads. Every day. And if you enjoyed, please hit that like button and don't forget to add Michael to your family subscribers. Thank you and goodbye.